After she enters the silo with all the dead people, she finds a flashlight. It still works. She runs for some reason. She has air problems, water. Mm -hmm. She also stabs herself. Let's let's watch. Wild. So dangerous. Some clean canteen. Water. Flashlight. Why are we running? Why, Why are we running? running? Why are we running? What's the urgency? <laughs> Wait, is oh. the urgency she needs air? Is that it? She needs to breathe? I think she needs to breathe here. And so but, she's but running she, out of air in the suit. Shouldn't she walk then? Right? Because then you if you're in if you're if you're in an enclosed environment, you're running out of oxygen. You should breathe mm -hmm. slowly so that you're not yep. huff and puff and consuming. So, so why is she running down the stairs at all? Just right. <laughs> you're you're in was, the cafeteria. Just do it there. She was in the ca yeah. She was in the cafeteria. So you could just sit down and take care of one problem at a time. First problem is yeah. air. I should take off my helmet. Like she didn't gather anything from the stairs. She had all of her tools that she needed to use already. She just ran for some reason. I don't know why she ran. <laughs> And then if you do need air, why are you a start crowbar into the face? So what are we doing? What are you doing? If <sighs> okay, so the air problem is solved. Yep. Just pour some coffee on her. What was the urgency on pouring the coffee? Uh, I I mean I guess she's doing chemical bath like a chemical shower you know, like you like, yeah, like okay. back in school if you like if you spilled chemicals on your body then you like go into the hallway you pull the chemical shower and like psh, just just blast yourself with water wash whatever's on your suit does she have does she know that's required I don't think she knows that yeah so I guess I, the question is did the air did the did the air whatever's poisonous on the outside did it come in contact with her suit and then coat her suit because if it did, then when she takes off her gloves eventually and touches it, then now it's on her hands. Is that what she's doing? But in that case, yeah, I, it's as good as explanation as any. But I would think what I would do in that situation, if I thought the outside of my suit could potentially be sensitive, mm -hmm. I'd want to take off the suit without damaging it carefully, without touching the outside. Mm. So I um, guess you keep your gloves on for as long as you can. Yep. You take everything off. And then the last thing is gloves off. Yeah, and if you have to take the gloves off to get like a sleeve through, you mm -hmm. can take the sleeve through and then you put your glove back on so you can manipulate the belt or the oh, shoes yeah. just, or whatever. Oh yeah, just invert the sleeve. Just flip it, flip yeah, it out, flip it. inside out. And then you, yeah. And then you could, once it's, once you've taken off and you need to clean it, well then you could find a sponge or something and you could do a yeah, thorough yeah. job. Yeah, um, I agree. Because even if, there's no way this is a thorough job, right? Yeah, no way. She's just splashing vaguely on the front side of her suit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the backside, yeah. With this, whatever's in this water. Or the, whatever's in these bottles. Oh my gosh. <laughs> is that, why is she stabbing? And it's like oh. a... It's not like, cut the zipper. It's like a... Okay, so she solved the air issue. Uh -huh. And then she kind of solved the outside contamination issue. Yeah. What's why now stab? What's the urgency with the stabbing? What is that? Slowly, carefully. Why not know. take the suit off slowly? Yeah, yeah. I don't understand. Is what? it like, is the no, suit burning it. her on the inside? Like, get it off, get it off. I don't she's got, know. She's got a terrible case of swamp ass. She's like, I can't take it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so wet. <laughs> Never experienced this before. <laughs> Maybe... Maybe the she's smell freaked out by having touched all those bodies. But so it's she, just panic. But she didn't. Yeah, but she didn't start panicking until she got to the cafeteria. She was okay before that. Yeah. Why? Why not panic? Kind of right when you close the door. You're like, get it yeah. off, get it off. Yep. Safe day, please. Yeah. Instead of crowbar to the face, like straight in, yeah. crowbar and swing it so that way it's not going to like get your face, but it will break the screen. Yeah, but then if if I did want air in my suit, I don't want to break the visor because that's something I can't duplicate. If I tear right. the suit, I could take. I don't later. know. 
I can, I can, I can fix that later, and I can get the air I need. Visor is a full commitment to breaking the suit. So I guess what she wants is to stretch her suit and then pierce sideways, not towards you, but you sideways, yep. and then you can, you know, a little shimmy down, and then you open up your suit. Right for the reason we don't know, because the air she's fine breathing. Yeah. Now she's got stabby stab. And rip. She could have sliced up her leg. Oof. Yeah, because you got to do that slowly. That could be a sharp knife. Oh gosh! And I, you want to you want to open up your suit near your upper part of your torso because the lower part of the suit it looks waterproof, or watertight, which means yeah. if she ever needs to like wade into water, she can't anymore. She just cuts the leg open. Yeah, that's right. So this visor is gone, so it's no longer airtight. And then if she needed to use the suit for any other purpose. Yeah. Now it's not sealed anymore. All the way down to the crotch. Down to like mid. Oh, so she cuts the upper, the torso down to her belly button, I guess. But then oh, yeah, she, she also, cut... she also cuts the leg. She also cuts the leg. That, that's tape. That's, that's tape. Oh, that's tape. Yeah. Oh, I see. That's a dangling piece of tape. But, but, it's but it on... here is what she's cutting. Exactly. So the suit's toast. Like there's no, without she's... a serious patch job, this is suit's toast. She's stuck in the xylo. Unless she can find more suits in this one. And even if she did find more suits, she did not, there's no way she had time to verify the like that they're good suits. She gambled. I mean, the silo she's from, the, they sabotage the suits with tape. The silo here, they could sabotage it some other way that she doesn't see. Yep. <sighs> okay. Very weird. Bad adventuring. Very strange. Bad yeah. adventuring.